Excellent. Hello YouTube, we're Hello. back. Hello YouTube, we're ready to rock again. And today we are doing a review on the um, Vintage Guitars Thomas Blurg Ocaster. Blurg. So Thomas Blurg is a, uh, a German uh, guitarist. He's blues a, guy, isn't he? He's a very yeah. cool blues, mm -hmm. blues guitarist. Um, and the guitar that uh, Vintage Guitars has done for Thomas is actually a um, copy of his original 1961 uh, Strat. So, you know, Vintage is famous for... I suppose, you know, it's the name of the company Vintage they do. Very clever name. Yeah, exactly. They so have... they sort of have the relic guitars. Yeah. So, um, you know, everything on this guitar is relic how uh, Thomas's guitar would have been at the time that Vintage did it. So you've got a few knocks here, mm. oh, you know, yeah. scrapes in the paint. Um, and the way Vintage go. actually does it is uh, they clear coat the guitar first, then do the, uh, the paint over the top. So the whole guitar has actually got a finish on it anyway. Um, that's... It's a lovely looking guitar, and a lovely playing guitar. And it has um, Wilkinson hardware. Wilkinson hardware, yeah, so that's, right. that's, that's the, uh, the... Decent the, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the thing about vintage guitars is they've got Trev Wilkinson on board, um, your tuners, uh, your, your trem, your uh, pickups, it's all Trev Wilkinson hardware, so at least you know there's, there's a certain quality to the guitar. But Phil, be honest now, you did replace some parts. You did, didn't you replace uh, some knobs and some uh, covers and stuff like that? Right, what I've done on this guitar yeah. is, um, because they do a relicking on the guitar, um, the original pick guard and the plastics, I didn't like it. They've sort of aged it with like a, I don't know, it looks like they're painted with a green paint. I just didn't like it, mm. so I literally just... Um, snot colour, you call it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah. So the, Very snotty. They, they painted yeah, it with snotty. some snot green. That's right. but, um, Very snotty. So I actually just changed the, the pick guard, the uh, the pickup covers, and the... Um, Tuners were, were everything else to stop, is it? All, all that stuff. Stock, yeah, so, okay. yeah, I mean, I, I just cleaned it up a little bit to, to my taste. And of course, the backwards trim. The backwards trem I is. I love that. It's very Hendrixy. It's very Hendrixy, but it's just what was on the guitar when I, when I got it at the shop. It's not not part of the actual model, but it was just what I got from the shop at the time. And the owner, owner had it on. He said, "Oh, do you want an almost?" Ah, that'll do. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about and that. And there's a few push pull things going on here, is there? Yeah, just on this one yeah. here, it, it's a, it's a, there's a dummy coil under here. So when you when you press this button, it's supposed to take a, away a bit of the. Um, the old single coil. Which 60, it doesn't. 60 Here we go, we're going to turn it up now and have a listen. Yeah, yeah baby. Uh, oh, feel that. So, oh, okay. So you, you okay. can see how much it does actually it's take It's still away. terrible. It's, it's not it's perfect, perfect. but it does take away quite a bit it's of, very of, bad. of, of yeah. the 60 cycle hub. We did have to mention that as well. That, that is, exactly. And uh, there is an actual Fender Strat E-Series 1987, so apparently one of the best Fenders of the best years. Oh, but the, the Fender um, cable cables are <laughs> useless because um, we've changed a few already, and they keep doing that. Exactly. So this is uh, an E series Strat, yeah, it's a, um, an actually beautiful Strat, I have yeah. to say. And I got it for a bargain, but we won't go there. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, and it has the spursly things going on, and it's it's really it's it's got the uh, Fender lace sensors. I think they're the gold lace sensors. So yeah, it's a great guitar. But let's just hear if if this is as bad for the the hum. Oh, much better. Yeah, much, not, much, not so much, bad, much better. Not so bad at all. I mean, that's bearable. Well, that's, that, that's the lace sensor. Let, let me try it again. That's because these are lace sensor pickups. That's, <laughs> that's the whole thing with lace sensors. You could make a song out of that, man. Yeah, you could. It would be like a, uh, <laughs> an EMG where, you know, that's the whole thing. It's taken away the okay, noise. Okay, taken away there. Look at that. So, if you yeah, had stand away, yeah. fender single coils, I'm sure yeah. it would be... Pretty much like that anyway. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so in fact, if I'm going to play this, I'm going to stand up because I'm only just going to give you get. Yeah, we'll take that out, and then you take the. Oh, will it take away the sound as well? No, no yeah. it doesn't. It, it, yeah. it will sound the same. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
is a smooth knob. I have it to say, a that's a smooth knob, man. Yeah, we all that's like a good. smooth knob. We all like a smooth knob. Yeah. That is lovely. <laughs> Nice, yeah, it's a great guitar, I have to say. Lovely great country sound. strat sounds. Great neck, it's kind of worn and all that kind of, you know, vintage worn stuff going on, very smooth. Yeah. Uh, the action's just an, a lovely bluesy action. Yeah. You wouldn't shred metal with this, but, well, you could, but it'd be harder to do, you know? Yeah. But it's, um, yeah, a stunning guitar. I mean, for the price, originally for the price. Exactly, for the yeah. I mean, the price yeah. of, of this and, and we, we always go on the, the sort of uh, European prices, the Thomon.de price, I think, is around 500 euros for this guitar. Mm. It's a lot of guitar for the money. Probably about 13 or 14 for that guitar at least. Exactly. At least, especially for the year that it's in. You could even get 18 in certain shops here in Ireland yeah. for that the exactly. guitar, you know, second hand. We'll say that guitar, I would say, would be 80% the quality of Absolutely, this guitar. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. always that thing of what they call um, diminishing returns. You mm. know, the higher a guitar is, the less value for money you're, you're, you're yeah. getting. And of guitar. course, if I even get a headache thinking about scratching that, I cry. Yeah. Whereas this thing, you could just literally kind of scrape it off the wall and yeah. you know, actually add to it. You know? Exactly. It yeah. adds to the vintageness you know exactly i mean okay. as i said before the you know the vintage uh, pickups are great and even when apparently um thomas worked with trevor wilkinson on it and trev was happy to um to do something with the pickups apparently um thomas blurg was was happy with the um the thomas the, blurg 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 was I happy that word. blurg, blurg. Yeah. Can happy. I say it again? Blurg. Blurg. Sorry, it's the Blurg guitar stuff. Yeah, the Blurg guitar So he, he was quite happy with the um, the standard pickups which Trev uses, his single coil uh, range of pickups. And I mean, it's got a lovely crunchy single coil tone. Can I just um, try the actual tremolo and see if it stays in tune? That is the Wilkinson hardware. Wow. You know. That, uh, put you on the spot there, Phil. You did. I was expecting a dodgy G string. No, but, but that uh, sounds awesome. You know, that's the yeah. whole thing is that Wilkinson hardware is upgrade hardware. So, you know, the first uh, Fender LSR roller nut was a, a Trev Wilkinson um, design nut. Mm. You know, so mm -hmm. he, he that's what he started off doing was the the um, the upgrades for for fenders. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that's that's the big selling point of these vintage Definitely, guitars yeah, really is, is, yeah. is the quality of the hardware. Um, I mean, I played two thousand euro fenders where it does go out of tune. Yeah, easy. You know, so this is awesome. With this, is this a, a special kind of nut here? I'm no. not sure if it's a if it's a. Uh, oh no, it's, it's brought back, it's brought forward, is it? Yeah. Look at this. This is interesting. It's actually brought slightly forward. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, I suppose it's again. It's uh, maybe that's got something to do with the shape of the headstock. Right. Because yeah. obviously it's not a uh, a total uh, <coughs> fender rip off. Of course. Of course. You know, of course they're, uh, yeah. You can call <laughs> 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 not a rip off. A, yeah. a tribute is is the exactly. word. Exactly. Um, tribute. I like it. Yeah. I, I like mean, it. they've got their own shape headstock, and maybe because I think the headstock's a bit smaller, it's it's just something the the way it is. Yeah. But you know. Oh. Let's talk about the knob. Which knob? This knob. That knob. You hate it. I, well, I'm not a Fender guy, you know that. I, I, I prefer my Gibsons the shorter style and... He hates this knob. Yes, I have a big problem because every time I play a Fender... Have you got a problem with your knob? With the Fender knob, yes. You do. Yes, with the Fender knob. Tell everyone about your, your problem with I'm your knob. I'm trying to. <laughs> It's, every time I play a Fender and the volume's on 10 and I'm playing there, my hand just knocks the knob and I turn it back to zero and I end up... Can't, can't hear it, that but the, actually the funny yeah. thing about that, and I was quite impressed recently, I read that Steve Howe, the famous guitarist from Yes, he has the same problem. Wow. So I'm quite impressed with that. It's not only an amateur like me that has that problem. There you go. Professional guitarists have that problem too. And I actually was talking to you earlier, and I was scoffing at that, and I hit it myself. You did? And it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it actually is. It's annoying. 
and and that's not a vintage thing. That's a Fender thing. That's this style of guitar mm-hmm. thing. So is this a kind of this is kind of stiffer, isn't it? It's a bit stiffer. That is actually quite stiff. Yeah. It's it again, always like one thing I do like about this in terms of violining and stuff. You know. violin kind of thing yeah so that's kind of cool it's actually really uh, it's one of the easiest knobs to like, to, to, do, to do that to it. The quality yeah. of the wiring in that is great. I had yeah, that apartment yeah. when I was uh, doing the pit garden. It's your full vintage clock wiring in there. Awesome. You know, so yeah. it is a really um, you know vintage style pickups and and. Mm. Um, uh, no, it's beautiful. It, 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 yeah, it really, really is. is. They've done you know they have done a very good job. Mm. Um, I still feel the neck on this. It's just. If you can show, show the folks the neck on that, it's just a gorgeous neck. I know it's hard to. It's a very thin neck. This would be a little thinner. The wood or something. Just yeah. something so dense it feels and heavy. Very solid. Yeah, very yeah. solid. This does not feel the same. Quite the same way. I don't know. I can't explain it, but it just does not feel as expensive a guitar as that. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel. You can. You can feel. This is you know slightly more budget than, yeah, yeah. than the actual real deal, as I say. Well, I must say yeah. that that's a, that's actually a good thing because mm. I mean, if this felt. As a hundred percent as this, you would say, "Why the hell am I paying exactly. fifteen, sixteen, eighteen hundred yeah. euros that for this?" I mean, true. it is good if you can tell a more expensive guitar that is more is expensive. True. But as I said, that's probably a good eighty mm-hmm. percent of this. And we, I think, we actually agreed that we prefer the pickups in in this when we when we played it. Yeah, they have a great crunch of them. They're kind of more uh, clean, uh, glassy plinkiness going on. There's a plinkiness yeah. where we don't get we get more. Crunch. <laughs> Show some Fender of the Fender cleans. cleans, of course. Yes, why not? Absolutely. Mm. We should get more of a twang then, shouldn't we? Exactly. Yeah. And that's mm. that being vintage pickups. Mm. Yeah, that twang. have to give it for price everything in the packages is where price playability you don't like to play ability as much as I do because you know if you just you find it slightly high idea the action just find out the whole setup a little bit too it's the thing it's harder to play is it's, it's the more you give it the more you get out of it you know yeah, that exactly way? which is a good thing yeah. you earn it yeah. you earn it yeah exactly so uh, the whole package I would say easy eight out of ten yeah. Eight out of ten for this baby. Yeah. yeah. I, I would agree with and that. The on the the <laughs> You make me sound like Phil Linnett's mother. I do. Uh, oh, very good. Phil and me, Phil Linnett, you know. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Hey, it's, no worries. It's, no worries. I, I, would, I, I, would, I would agree. <laughs> I think it's a, you know, a solid eight, 8.5 guitar. You know, you, yeah. you, maybe a little niggly You things. have spent a few quid extra on it. In fairness, that was just the plastics. Just the plastics. Yeah, just, just a few, yeah, just, was yeah. A cosmetics, thing. basically. Yeah, cosmetics. Cosmetics. yeah. But again, you know, the, for the price and what yeah. you get, it is a great yeah. 
S type copy guitar. Mm. Um, you know, for a guy starting off, you know, if if you like the Inve Malmsteen thing, if you like the Richie Blackmore yeah, thing, yeah. that is a great and of course the Thomas Blurg thing. Thomas Blurg thing, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, so, definitely. I mean, this is a great guitar for a mid-range player that's you know left the kind of really cheap budget guitars behind yeah. and he wants to move into the kind of strat stratosphere. Into the stratosphere! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Oh, and anyway, we're, we're, I wrote that last night. That's it. Yes, we're rated it. <laughs> let's rock out on these things. Yeah, we oh, can't yeah, talk yeah, anymore. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's All right. Okay. Give me some there, Phil. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. See you soon. Bye-bye.